Hello, so this is my TI-84 calculator. It's really, really dirty. It's really, really old. This is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. And, you know, this thing is a beast. Um, I have thrown this around in my bag for years, and it still has, you know, held up. So, very, very well-made product. Um, when you think about the abuse um, that this calculator has been through. I mean, look how dirty that is. That's marker residue. Yeah, just crazy. I'll turn it on. Yeah, so you can turn it on by pressing the on button. And this one functions um, like a lot of the other TI-84s, basically. Um, they do have some color versions and some other versions that have nicer print. Um, the big difference will come when you get um, like a TI-92 or a TI-Inspire. That's when really uh, the redesign was big. And so there's there's big differences in the functionality of the 92 and the Inspire when compared to the 84. So otherwise, most of the 84s, I mean, some of them being color, some being black and white, are mostly the same. So I just want to throw that out there in case you're shopping around trying to decide like which one to get. Um, one of the big pros of this particular calculator is if you are using it for a class in college and um, your professor does not allow what's called a calculator with a CAS, they call it. A CAS is a computer algebra system. Um, you'll be able to use this one then because this doesn't have a CAS, right? So this does not have a computer algebra system. So the 89 and the Inspire, um, you know, they can, they can factor, they can expand, um, they can integrate, they can differentiate, they can do basic calculus. This one can only do calculus uh, numerically. I believe you have to go into math. Math is right there. And then it can do, um, let me just scroll. I think it's over here. It's been a while. And derive an F and int. F and int integrates, but it only does definite integrals, right? So, um, so yeah, for example, for this, we would type in the integral. So x squared, I'll just show you why not. <laughs> and then comma, and then um, the variable x. And this is something that, whoops, something that, uh, you know, if you're taking calculus, this is useful. So you're integrating x squared, the variable is x, and let's go from zero to one. Whoops, zero to one. Just like that. So it's the function, the variable, the lower limit, and the upper limit of integration. So if you know calculus, uh, this will make sense. So that's what you're integrating. That's your variable x. Zero is your lower limit. One is your upper limit. And so this will be x cubed over three plus a constant, but it's a definite integral, so we don't need the constant. So the answer should be one third or 0.33, let's see. Yeah, 0.33 repeating, so one third. So it works. Um, you can do it graphically. If you hit y equals and then you graph the function x squared, let's hit graph, just why not? Make this an educational video so you can learn some stuff. So y equals is here, that's how you graph stuff. And then x is the variable and then that's the, called the caret key that gives you the exponent and there's the two. By the way, the newer ones you get, usually they have a fancy print. Um, what, it, what it means is you won't see the character, you'll see it as an exponent. And I'm pretty sure, I've never done it, but I'm pretty sure you can connect this to your computer and upgrade it. So yeah, kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna hit zoom and then uh, down to N. And now um, we're gonna integrate again. So in, on this calculator, on this particular one, to access any of the blue keys, you have to hit second first. So I'm gonna hit second trace. This is like a crash course in using the TID4 for integration. It's kind of fun. And then right there. So I mean, again, so second trace that gives you access to the blue key. I'm gonna go down to the integration one. And then lower limit, we said that was zero. So zero and then enter and then upper was one. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us the answer, but look, it's gonna shade in the area. You see, that's the area under the curve which is equal to one third. So this gives you a graphical representation. Where this will fail is the following, watch this. If I do the same thing, this is really instructive, watch this. And, whoops, whoops. Yeah, second, trace, and then you go to integral. But instead I do, say I do zero, then upper limit 27, which is off the, no, 27 might, no, yeah, it should be off the screen. Error, invalid, quit, go to. And the reason it did that Okay, the reason it gives me an error, let me explain it, is because you can't see it, right? When x equals uh, 27 is going to be, I don't know where it's going to be, it's going to be way up there, right? So on the x-axis, whoops, you have to be at the square root of 27, which is really far away, right? So it's, it's off the screen, so you won't see it. So the disadvantage to integrating on the screen like this with the graph is that it'll only work if your bounds are visible. 
Whereas if you use uh, math f and int, uh, it's here. On the ones that are upgraded, so if you happen to buy one, it might already be upgraded. If it's not, I think you can upgrade it and make it prettier. You'll get an integral symbol and stuff, so it's a little bit nicer. So this one's really old. I've had this um, since 2010. Um, it uses four AAA batteries. All right. And how fitting. We have the Amazon Basics AAA batteries uh, in this thing, right? Really nice batteries. Um, got these on Amazon, obviously. Yeah, great batteries. And they work great in the last, like, forever. I mean, this thing does not go dead. So, yeah, I like it. Um, I think it's a good quality product. People always talk about um, how, you know, these do cost a considerable amount of money, but, like, they are really well made. I mean, this is, this is you know, Texas Instruments. It's good stuff. I hope this video has been helpful. I think it's a great calculator. Good luck and take care.